What's at stake this year is who runs Seattle, big business or working people? Last year, the corporate elite bullied our city to defeat the Amazon tax, which would have funded housing and services. Now they're trying to buy this election with an unprecedented million and a half dollars in three corporate packs. 15 Amazon executives, along with big developers and corporate lobbyists, have donated to my opponent. This is a struggle for the soul of Seattle. The Chamber of Commerce has gotten its candidates into every city council race. Their mission, take over City Hall and flip it to the right. But we can fight back. I've used my two terms to help build powerful movements and coalitions to win historic victories. I'm proud to have helped lead the way in making Seattle the first major city to win the $15 minimum wage. Since then, we've won tens of millions of dollars for affordable housing and landmark renters' rights laws. We won crucial funding for LGBTQ services. Now we are bringing back the Central District Post Office. Despite a major construction boom, Seattle's housing affordability and homelessness crisis remain among the nation's worst. The for-profit housing market and political establishment have failed us. We need rent control, free of corporate loopholes, and a massive expansion of social housing paid for by taxing big business and the rich, not ordinary workers, middle-class homeowners, people of color, or small businesses who are already overtaxed. Seattle needs a Green New Deal to make our city 100% renewable by 2030, creating thousands of union jobs. As a socialist and union member, I'm proud to have the support of the Stranger, Sierra Club, Nick Licata, Carrie Moon, Nikita Oliver, Noam Chomsky, and 15 labor unions. Join me in fighting for a city we need, not a playground for the wealthy.